What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Aramis and today I'm doing a bedtime stories but this bedtime stories is a little different. As you guys know bedtime stories is just where you guys send me your emails of y'all scenarios and then I you know give you advice or tell you my opinion on your situation. Today I have one of my best friends my hey GBF <laughs> featured in the video Marco. You guys have seen him in my vlog before and you guys have seen him on Snapchat. Yeah, on Snapchat. I've had other videos with Marco in them. So, yes, this is Marco. Marco has his own YouTube channel. I'll put the name of his channel right here and it will be in the description box for y'all to go check out after this video. Um, Marco was one of my co workers in my Why I Quit McDonald's or Why I Quit My Job video. So, yes, today we're going to be sipping on a little wine during this story, y'all, because number one story I got to tell y'all today. Y'all go, y'all gonna need this, okay? Y'all gonna Merlo. need this. Get your Merlot. Get, get your Merlot. And join the club, okay? And sip, sip. She says, "Hey, Aramis, just wanted to let you know that I love you. So I wanted to write this email to get justification. I'm talking to this friend group of guys, but they are only friends because they play football together, and we all know each other from school." But I'm talking to the three of them, and I often sex all three of them and send them nudes. The other thing is, I only let one guy fuck. Y'all. All right. <laughs> Hold on. The other two. Hold on. I think we need to sit real quick. <laughs> the other two found out, and they got mad. But it must not seem to matter because all of them still text me and still talk to me. My thing is, do you think I should feel bad for talking to the three of them? And do you think what I'm doing is hoish? I hope you read my message and relate some advice. P.S. If you read this on our channel, you can use you can use the name Ray. Okay, Ray. Um, Ray, we need to have a conversation. We do. This is my thing. Before I even dig into this, I want to let you know that if you thought that you had good friends... You don't. You don't. You don't. And the fact that you titled this email... Am I a hoe? You don't have good friends because let me tell you something. A good friend wouldn't make you ask that question. A good friend would tell you straight up, yeah. you doing some hoe shit. This is not okay. And let me tell you what's going on. All right, assuming that you're single by this email because nowhere in this email where you're talking about a boyfriend, um, it is not wrong to talk to multiple people at one time. I'm not one girl that believes that you're single talk to one guy at a time like you're single for a reason this is your chance to date to like meet people talk to most people that wasn't until you're satisfied i'm okay with that but you send you sexting they on the football team y'all all go to yeah, school that's mm, that's another thing that kind of really got me it's it's one thing if you know the guys that you're talking to it's okay to talk to multiple people at once if you're single and that's what you're doing but space it out a little like don't have everybody so close to home because that can really start a lot of drama and the fact that they're on the football team really does make people look at you and be like hmm, right and are see you the thing is what do you think they're doing you're sexting all three of them and it's not like they don't know that you talk to them they obviously know if obviously. the other two got mad what do you think is going on do you really think they're sitting in a circle crying about it no no they're laughing at you they are laughing at you. This is stuff that guys find amusing. And trust me, I know I got two brothers. This is stuff that guys like to talk about and laugh about. Yeah. This is this is how women become the topic of discussions because they're not, you know... Respectful of themselves. Right, you don't respect yourself. If anything, if you wanted to talk to multiple people at one time, why not spread it out? Why they gotta be a, a, the same group of people, you know? Like, that's just... To me, that's obvious. I feel like this is something that a good friend would tell you, like, fuck is you doing? Like, yeah. wake up. This is OD, you know? And you probably not going to realize until somebody is leaking your news. Yeah. Or somebody is, Exposing you know... Exposing you some kind of way. Somehow, the per you didn't send your news to somebody and they got them. It doesn't matter. Everybody on the football team probably have already seen them. There's three people that have them. So, you know, just... Be careful. Be careful and stop doing it. You want to know how I feel about it? I don't think it's cute. Stop yeah. doing it because it's just, it's it doesn't look good. As a woman, that's really ugly. So I really just feel like in this situation, you don't have to rush. Like, it's okay to have friends, but if you're going to be involved with somebody sexually, at least do it one at a time. Like, 
I wouldn't be sexting multiple people at one time, but I would just tell you, if you're dealing with one person, deal with them, you know, get through that situation, deal with the next, get through them, and so be it. You know, if people think that you're a hoe because, you know, you deal with multiple people, then they think that, but, you know, I would at least say, if it was me, I would at least know, you know, okay, I'm giving one person a time at a time and not three people at once, because that is what makes, you know, this situation kind of look a little... Right. Ho so the overall question, am I a hoe? Well, is she a hoe? Yes. Are you a hoe? Yes. Like, just because you're labeled a hoe doesn't necessarily mean hands off, she's a hoe. Like, everybody label her a hoe for the rest of her life. No, like, everyone has time to change. All you have to do is just stop doing it. Whoa. Choose one person you want to talk to. Or for, if I was you, I wouldn't talk to none of them anymore. Start over with somebody new and just keep it between y'all two. Like, I wouldn't keep it between a group of friends, you know? Yeah. So, are you doing some whole shit? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. But that doesn't mean label you for it the might rest not, of your life. It might not make you a hoe because you're not, you know, having sex with all of them at the same time. But it's not what people call you. It's what you answer to. And if that's what you're giving them to call you, then, then you know. So, just consider us one of your real friends. Sometimes real friends say shit that you don't like. You're not like, going to hear. You don't want to hear it. But I'm a, I'm a real friend. I'm going to tell you straight up. Stop doing this shit. Yeah. Just stop it's, it. It's not cute. It's not the business, man. No, ma'am. No, God. For our next story, she says, Before I start off explaining my story, I just want to let you know that I'm truly a fan of you and your channel. I wish you the best of accomplishing your goals. Keep up the good work. I love you, girl. Okay. Love you, too. So, I have been dating this guy for nine months now. We have never had any major problems in our relationship. Before we got together, I explained to him how I had problems with trust issues. I didn't tell him why my last relationship ended because I didn't think it was necessary to bring that into another fresh relationship. But I felt him knowing about my trust issues was something big to me he should know about. So recently I came across a Snapchat story and when I seen what I saw I had to look again and make sure what I seen the first time was accurate. There was another girl sitting in his lap. Pause. The first thing I did was call him and said you must be single. <laughs> For real though. Cause I would have been like 1-800. Like you you gotta be single. Okay. You have to be single sweetie. You girl, have what? to be. It. He was acting all shocked and asking me what I was talking about. Look I told him face. that I had seen his Snapchat and he was like, you tripping. There's nothing going on between me and that girl. She's just my friend. I told him I didn't care what she was. She should not be sitting in your lap. He just kept going on saying that how he knows I have trust for him. So I ended up not talking to him for about two days because I just felt disrespected. Days passed and he ended up bringing flowers to my house and explaining that there was nothing going on between him and her. So I forgave him. The next day, the girl was on his Snapchat again. After the first time, I'm out of wine. I would sit, but I, but I'm out. After the first time, girl, honey, boom, I would have been done. That's just girl, me. this time she was calling him boo and giving him these flirty looks. So at this point, I'm fed up. So I blocked him from everything move that I would make. Later on that day, I had went to this party that I was invited to. And my boyfriend from somehow found out and came and brought the girl that he was with on Snapchat. In my head, all I'm thinking about is dragging this girl across the room. So I did. Hold on. Y'all. So See, that's what y'all mess up. Like, so she did. So she did. Maybe the story gonna change. Let's hear the rest of the story. All right. <laughs> Security had to break the fight up, but the catch of the story is that the situation was a prank. My boyfriend pranked me. He has a YouTube channel, and all this time, the situation was a prank. So now, I feel bad for ruining this girl party that I didn't even have to be invited to. But I did not feel bad for fighting a girl. As of now, I'm not talking to my boyfriend. It has been weeks. He's doing everything he can to give me back, but I'm not giving in. For someone who has trust issues already, I don't think pranking yeah. them is the best way to go. What do you think I need to do? Sorry, this is so long. Man, first and four goddamn modes, like... <laughs> You need to check him because you need to make it clear what you want in the relationship. And right. I feel like this pranking situation has gotten out of hand. First off, if I saw my boyfriend or somebody on Snapchat with somebody else, that, you know, if that would have raised red flags, that would have been the end of that. Like, and that's all I got to say about it. So what do you think you should do? Let me tell you something. Before I jump down his though, I'm going to jump down yours a little bit. 
Just so when you are in a relationship with somebody, it don't matter if you don't want to bring up your ex. I feel like even though people hate, like I hate a girl that talk about her ex, I can't stand a nigga that talk about his ex. Y'all need to listen to them conversations yeah. that they're saying. Like, don't initiate them, like ask too many questions. But whenever when they happen, do choose to bring them up, listen. pay attention because you don't want to make that same mistake. Or you might be making a mistake being with the person that you with because of how they broke up. You know, they could just say trust issues, but they didn't really, like, give you the meat and potatoes of the situation. If you have been cheated on before, if you have been lied to, something like that, something that he has details that you should have brought to the table first, he probably wouldn't have done this prank. Does that justify anything? No. No. That don't justify nothing, girl. Because what he did, in my opinion, was wrong. Damn, and I, I don't blame you for not talking to him. I really don't because I wouldn't. I don't I don't understand where people find that hilarious. Like, the media likes to do these little pranks where it involves the... It went from doing pranks on your boyfriend and girlfriend yeah. to doing pranks to your boyfriend and girlfriend as if you cheat. That, that is not funny to it's me. It's not like, at all. It's not. It's the fact that you could even play like that. That's right. got my and, blood And be going comfortable with. about that. Like, no, because this ain't just a one-time thing. The fact that it was over time, her on his Snapchat, you know, every it was constant. No, no, no prank should last that. more than a day. I'm sorry. Like, you you doing too much now. This is too real. Let me jump down your throat, son, because I have something for you. <laughs> what where girls go wrong, and I'm going to keep this very short, sweet, and simple. Girls go wrong so many times jumping down the the other girl's throat or trying to fight the other girl. Your concern shouldn't be the girl. Even if she knew that you was with him or whatever the situation is, I feel like you're not in a relationship with her. You're in a relationship with him. So you need to go home and you need to check him and you need to do what you got to do with that situation first before you ever think about, okay, well, I'm about to fight this girl. Because in the long run, she ain't going to matter. But you got to think about it. You seeing that with your own eyes, you don't have, you like, the back of your head is like, okay, jump down his throat. But the front of your head is like, I see that bitch on sight. Because I'm not going to lie. I probably would have reacted the same way. You all you all over my man at a party, prank or not, bitch. You finna get the you one and the two. You about to get the two. hands. The one and the you two. You about to catch this two-piece in this biscuit with a large sweet tea on that ass straight from Popeye's. Really? Down on Wesley the $5 Chapel. box. Like, I'm trying to tell you, you're about to get served dinner tonight. Like, it's not okay. Everybody would have been getting served in. I don't blame you for the way you reacted. I really don't because there's no way someone could honestly sit up here and say they would have been calm about it. Oh, I wouldn't have been calm. The side. There's no way because you see it on site. So I understand that. And I don't blame you for not talking to him. Um, if you want to break up with him over this, you can. I mean, it was a prank at the end of the day. But what I would sit up here and, you know, be honest with him and saying, like, you know what, although it was a prank... That really you hurt know my I have trust issues yeah. already, so when we get that's back together, a, let's not do anything like that again. I don't find it funny. Issue, like, I don't find it funny. You know, be yeah. straight up with him. And if he is too much of a man to, you know, admit that he did too much there, then drop his ass, Bro, girl. What? Drop his Bye. ass like a bad habit. It's okay. okay. So that was it today for bedtime stories. If you guys have a bedtime story you guys want read on the channel next, go ahead, send an email to this email right here, and it will be down there in the description box. I just filmed a review on this hair. Um, it, I don't know which one is going to go up first, which is probably why I'm dressed the same and the same makeup and stuff. But yeah, it's because I filmed two videos today. So do not forget to follow Marco on you know his channel. Subscribe to him. He does mainly like vlogs and stuff. Vlogs and story time. <laughs> so go ahead and follow him. He's, you know, we, we need to help him out with his subscriber numbers. I'm trying, y'all. So, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a cute thumbs up and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye! Bye.